I thought I might show this. This is one of the original Miracle Flies. Oh God, it's one of the smallest ones. And what you're targeting with this is roughly like two pounders. And of course, I can't, I can't, I've lost count of the amount of fish that this thing's pulled in. But it's in the region of hundreds. It's been reincarnated a few times. I mean, just been material bound onto the same hook. <laughs> it's hard to believe, but that, you know, has been a very fortunate fly. It's never snagged anything. All I've done is wet the edge with a diamond sharpener. You have on the top of it, all it is really is, you've brown or dark olive, depending. I like dark olive. Bucktail, followed by underneath, you have hot orange bucktail. And then there's a little bib of Arctic Fox, orange Arctic Fox out in front. With four strands of gold crystal flash and a black thread. And that's it. I, I, October 2012. And the date retired was... I, I said when I caught the last fish that that was it. The reason I was going to retire it is because I wanted to remember it. And I just have to reflect back and see the way it's all beaten up. I mean, it's torn to pieces. I don't know if you can really look at that, see this. But it is absolutely shredded. I mean, there's so much torn off this fly. Yeah, I'm going to take it off the stand. Like, it is piece by piece, hair by hair. The Pollock have pulled it off. I mean, eaten through it. Look, there's nothing on that. There's so little. Yet it's so productive. If This is the desperation fly. I mean, really, really like, I mean, if you put this on, I mean, you're really targeting small guys. You don't even have to do anything with it. If you just leave it in the water, just didn't do anything. Someone will take it. Guarantee you, someone will, will come along and give this guy a ride. What you need in front of this usually is about a foot away. I put a split shot, just a small uh, split shot, just enough to give it a nose dive and kind of jerky movements. It kind of, it's, it, it takes the edge off what you're doing up above and it gives a more fluid movement to this. This, as you can imagine, if you pull the line up above, the lead dropper or the lead split shot has to engage first before the fly does. Or kind of, you know, numbs the effect of what you're doing up above onto this. So, thought I might show you that. I want to show you how to tie one. Here we go. Baby Marika fly. Before. Baby Marika fly after. It's got absolutely hammered from Pollock and it still catches. This is so unique, this fly. It just. Hit after hit after hit, if there's any pollock in the water, and I mean any pollock, up to about three pounds. But this target's around two pounds, one pound pollock. And, and like if there's the guys that would be hanging around the rocks all day, every day, and here you go, that thing, at any time of day. It's just an amazing fly. As you can see now, that that's really, really well beaten up. There's not much left of it. They've chewed on most of the bucktail. And, 
the rest of it. But I was going to tidy it up and I said, what am I doing? That's it in its original condition. I think I'm going to frame it. Well, it's a thing of beauty. Because look at the history that this has, like, all the fish, one after another. So that's one. That's one of the flies I thought I'd show you.